What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. In this video I'll show you how you can create VR 180 degree videos using the replay mod. As the name suggests, VR 180 videos have a field of view of 180 degree, which means you can look around to a given extent and when watching in a VR headset, you'll see everything in 3D. To follow this tutorial, you need replay mod version 2.2.0 or newer, so make sure to grab the latest version from the download page. Inside the replay mod, create your camera path as usual. If you don't know how to do that, I recommend watching my basic replay mod tutorial, which covers everything you need to know. You can also refer to the documentation page on the website. You can find all of these links in the video description. So once you've created the camera path, open the render settings screen as usual. Under rendering method, select ODS rendering. ODS stands for Omnidirectional Stereoscopic, which means 3D rendering with the ability to look around. If you don't want the video to be 3D, but still want to be able to look around, select Equirectangular Rendering instead. Below, there is a slider which says Spherical Fourth. For VR 180 videos, drag the slider to, you guessed it, 180 degrees. Next to it, there is a checkbox named Inject Spherical Metadata. If you plan to upload the rendered video directly to YouTube without any further modifications, tick this checkbox. For the purposes of this tutorial, however, we'll do some editing to the video after rendering and I'll show you how to inject the metadata later, so you don't need to tick this checkbox. Finally, make sure the resolution you're rendering at is as high as you want it to be for good quality. I recommend a resolution of at least 2160 by 4320, but for the best possible quality that YouTube supports at the time of this video, go for 4320 by 8640. When rendering at such high resolutions, make sure you've allocated enough RAM to Minecraft. I recommend playing with at least 4 GB of RAM. Finally, we're good to go. Let's hit that render button. Once the video is rendered, you'll likely want to make some edits, for example add some music. You can use your favorite video editing software to accomplish this. Some software even has support for VR videos, so you can do some more fancy editing apart from just cutting and adding sound, but that's out of scope for this tutorial. After you've rendered the final video from your software, you need to inject the appropriate metadata to tell YouTube that your video is a VR 180 video. For this, you can use Google's VR 180 creator tool, which I link in the video description as well. Click prepare for publishing, open your video file, ensure the stereo layout is set to top bottom and the input field is set to 180 degree and then hit export. After exporting, Upload the file with the injected metadata to YouTube and enjoy your VR 180 degree video. That's it for today. See you in another decade or so. Bye!